Before this video starts, I just want to quickly mention that Pickle Hosting, the server hosting company that hosts the wonderful Afterlife SMP server that I'm on right now, uh, Pickle Hosting is hosting a Minecraft server giveaway in honor of Afterlife being sponsored by Pickle for two years, guys. Two years, that's crazy. That's awesome. Thank you, Pickle. Uh, so, if you would like to win your very own Minecraft server, I think it's for a month. You get, you get it for a month free. Uh, then go ahead, head up to the Afterlife SMP Twitter account. Uh, the pinned tweet on there, or the, the top tweet it should be, uh, will, will be the tweet that you'll need to look at uh, if you are interested in winning your own Minecraft server. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Beautiful, but hey everybody, welcome back to the Afterlife SMP server season 2. And as you just saw, for the first part of today's episode, we fought a wither. I've been wanting a beacon for a while now, and we finally, finally have a beacon. If you don't know this method, by the way, I believe it was Panda. Panda's with some numbers, I think, I think it's 4994 or something like that. Uh, it has a video about this, uh, where you can essentially put soul sand... I don't have any on me, but soul sand right here, uh, and enough so you can put wither skulls on the end, and the wither's head will get stuck in the ceiling. It's completely safe, and you can just hit the, hit the guy with the sword from right there, and then you're good. And it, it's a very easy way of killing a wither and getting getting this thing. As you can see, I did a lot of work here. But in today's episode, we're gonna be setting up a beacon at our base. And I want to work a lot more at the base. Uh, I want to get some more houses done. I really want to get a pathway done and all that good jazz. Wait, are we this way? Yeah, we're this way. I really want to get a pathway set up. And if we can, maybe set up some more fencing. Uh, maybe work on the underground base. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get into the episode. Now, would you look at this? We got our beacon all set up, all looking pretty darn cool. Down here, we have some haste too on this, which I didn't realize. Actually, I did kind of realize, but it's 16 seconds now instead of eight seconds, which is marvelous. Uh, but yeah, our beacon's gonna stay down there for, I don't know how long this is beacon's gonna be in this specific place. Uh, it's kind of interfering with this platform right here. For instance, I can't put a slab right here because otherwise it'll block the beacon. Also, I think I don't have yeah, I don't have a, a trap door up this. That's that's a bit of a problem <laughs> But I have gone around here in the underground base and finished all of the entrances around here Everything's looking pretty good and it's all set to go for us to work on hallways get stuff started uh, Which won't happen for a little while probably or probably a, a few weeks or something uh, but We'll get started on those in a relatively short period of time. See ya uh, but for the rest of today's episode, we're going to be over here at top side of this area. We're going to be working on some houses. I have a little bit of an idea for a pathway uh, that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and head off camera, get started around the place, get some more of these places built up, uh, these little houses and whatnot, and maybe get some roads started. And when I bring you guys back, we'll have a little bit of progress to update you on. It feels so incredibly weird to be back on the server. I haven't recorded in a few days, and this just feels so weird. Uh, even just playing Minecraft, because I haven't played the game in a couple of days either. Um, because, you know, school, busy. I put out an, an update video about that, so if you haven't... Actually, that'll probably be deleted by the time you guys see this. Uh, I just want to put it out for the more active people on the channel who care more about the schedule, probably. Uh, but I have figured out a pathway design. Can we get rid of this real fast? Something like that. And as you can see by my inventory, you may have an idea as to what this not like that. What this is going to be like. We're using some diorite. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> I know. Ew. Diorite. I get it. But this stuff just, I don't know. Actually looks kind of cool. And actually, can we head, can we head back here? I need to go down here, here, here. And let's place these here like that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Actually, let's do this. Let's remove that row. Place stone slabs like that. I like that better. Much better. Move that row. Place those stone slabs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm loving that. 
I'm loving that. Not like that. Like that. Yes. And diary like that. Cool. Cool. I actually, I feel like that just, that just works with this area. Uh, the diorite mixes pretty well with the birch. And uh, I know diorite looks like bird poop. I, I know a lot of people have said that. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But uh, I wanted to try out diorite and see see if uh, if it works well with the area. I'm kind of low on cobblestone, so this may not work out the best. But let's do something like that. And like that, maybe? I don't know. Let's put in some diorite here and see if that works out well. Right, we need some more diorite here. We need take that out and put that there. Let's mix these two up. I know I'm just kind of talking on camera, not really doing well, not doing a lot of talking, but I'm kind of concentrating. I don't know. I kind of feel like the diorite needs to be more mixed in. I don't know. But uh, the other thing I wanted to add to this pathway is some of this. Hmm. Some of these, some of these leaves, something I. I wouldn't say I'm kind of known for, but something I find I find that people kind of sort of expect from me <laughs> is to have leaves, or at least you know, on the afterleaf server, of course, uh, have some leaves going, something like that, something like that. What if we did that? Mm hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Ooh, yes, 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 and more yeses. That looks. Pretty cool. We need to add in some more diorite around here. Just add in a bunch of diorite right here. Do that. Yes, yes, and yes. I love that. I love how the oak leaves mesh with the colors of the diorite and the textures and sounds. Everything just works so well. I love it. So yeah, that, this is going to be our pathway design. I want to add in a few different things around here as well. Maybe some benches. I don't, I don't have any on me, but maybe some fence posts and maybe some cobblestone fences, stuff like that. Uh, that's really going to add a lot of detail to the area. Also some crops, which I think are, are going to be pretty cool. Uh, just add a little bit of, of depth and uh, interest to the pathway that ordinarily wouldn't be there. But I, re I really like this and I think that this is going to work pretty well for the area. Uh, but now I'm gonna go off camera and do some work on the pathway get some more stuff done and when I bring you guys back Hopefully I'll have a lot more done. I Am so freaking happy with how this is turning out. Just just look at this Look at this pathway. Look how it ties in well with the buildings I extended the pathway this way and I kind of melted it around the uh, portal right here a little bit This is sort of kind of temporary, but That actually looks pretty good. I'm do that yeah, I'm actually, I didn't think it worked out so well <laughs> with the portal in the area, but the pathway just, it just fits. And I ex extended the pathway over this way, over to this house. I haven't finished all that yet, um, but things are coming along really well. Uh, I've, I've been having a few thoughts about this thing up here because we're going to need some kind of entrance. Since this right here is going to be our entrance down to the uh, underground portion of this base. I might move this house over right here and make this house sort of the entrance for this. Have a little drop down in the middle of this house and voila, there we go. Uh, I feel like that might be pretty cool. Uh, and I've also been thinking about why this pathway works. And I think I think the reason this thing works, um, if, if, if you look at the, at the textures, right? The gravel is sort of this, it's, it's a lot more smooth in terms of like the the colors and like how the texture should be. The cobblestone's very rough. And then the, the diorite adds some color and it's kind of smooth and rough at the same time, which is kind of cool. I don't know why, well, I guess I do know why diorite gets such a bad rep, but I feel like diorite should be used more. I really like the block. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, but I really like the block. And I feel like it really ties in well with this area. Uh, we still have a lot, a lot more to do. A lot more houses to, to put around, a lot more pathways to build. I want to have fountains. I want to have extra bits to this pathway going on, like crops and things like that. But for the most part, this is what the pathway is going to look like. Uh, now, off camera, what I'm going to go do, 
I want to add in some different bits and bobs here and there on the sides and see what I can do. See if I can add in some fences and whatnot. Uh, ooh, I don't know what I'll do. I'll, I'll actually come back to you guys because I have a little bit of a topic I want to talk about as well. So uh, I'll go grab some materials and I'll be back. Does that look good? Something like that? Maybe. We can put a little crop right here, maybe. Do something like that. That's okay. We'll go with that for now. But uh, I've been I'm I've been starting to add these little touches around here and there. Uh, add something like that. I don't know. I just I just kind of like how the cobblestone fence and the carpet look together. I feel like it adds a little bit of interest to the area. Not bad. Uh, but the topic I had to talk about with you guys today um, is small YouTubers, especially small Minecraft YouTubers. Uh, I've been looking a lot more lately uh, around YouTube at smaller YouTubers. Uh, not to say I'm a big YouTuber, because I'm definitely not. Uh, but channels around my size, maybe, or size of this channel, a little smaller maybe. Um, and I begin to realize, not that this is, should be that big of a surprise, but there are a lot of really good small YouTubers out there, small Minecraft YouTubers. Uh, I mean, I knew that there was quite a few, but I just keep on finding more and more. How does that look? That's not too shabby. Uh, I just keep on finding more and more, and it's it's quite honestly crazy uh, how many Minecraft content producers there are out there that are really good. Um... A lot of them I enjoy a lot more than my videos. Uh, not, to say, not to say that my videos are bad or anything, but uh, they're they're extremely small and they really deserve a lot more attention, in my opinion. Um, I feel like there's there's a lot of a lot of content creators out there that are uh, un, 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 undervalued, I guess it would be, uh, in the in the community, and uh, I don't really know what I can do to change that because I feel like I should do something to change that. <laughs> Uh, I kind of have this sort of motivation to do so, but uh, I, I just wanted to kind of talk a little about that because I am genuinely surprised at how many there are. Um, just recently, I found, uh, what was the guy's name? I forget what his name was now. I don't, I, I can't remember now, um, but a small, small YouTuber uh, who his style is just... It's, it has a lot of jump cuts, but it's really entertaining. <laughs> it's extremely entertaining. Uh, and the dude only has, his channel only has 50 or 60 subscribers. Like, it's it's kind of crazy how few people are subscribed to his channel. Um, if I can, if I can remember his name, I probably can. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description down below. Uh, so you guys can go check him out if you want to. Um, but... It's just it's just mind blowing uh, that there are there are so many content creators out there that so many people get lost in in the mix. Uh, people have said that about my channel. I've said that about now. I've said about other channels. Um, I don't know. I really wish that there, there was some way we could change that. Uh, I know YouTube's always going to be recommending the big guys because they get the most attention. They get the most views. YouTube gets the most money from them. It just kind of, I guess, makes sense in that way. Uh, but I really do wish that there was something more I could do. Not like that. Will this work? Yeah, this should work. Uh, I really wish there was, the, there was something else I personally could do um, to help out. Um, if you guys have any ways I could help out, uh, let me know. Um, one thing I thought about doing, I know... I, there aren't many people who follow my Twitter. If, which by the way, guys, if you didn't know, I have a Twitter account. There will be a link in the description if you do want to follow me. Uh, it is a great thing to do if you're looking to stay up to date with what I'm doing, real life and on the YouTube's. Um, but one thing I thought about doing was not necessarily doing a shout out series, but like posting every week a a YouTuber who I really enjoy that week. And who I think really, uh, who, who I think people who follow my Twitter account would, would really enjoy if they enjoy my content. Um, but I don't know. I just, mm, don't really know how much good that would do. <laughs> so, 
Uh, I'm not entirely certain if that's a good idea, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if, if I can get around to doing that. Or if I think that, that that's a good idea or anything like that. Place some more of these. Let's see how that looks. I'm a little worried that, the, that, I'm doing, I'm, that I'm trying to do a little bit too much here. That's not bad. If we add some more flowers around the area, I think that that will look a lot better. We need to do some stuff up here as well. I'm not too sure about this right here, uh, but we'll see about that. What's up here? Did we do anything else up here? No, we haven't, we haven't done anything up here yet. Uh, but down there, can we get a good vantage point? Can we go this way? Go over here, over here, over here. Right there. Not bad. Adds a little bit of depth and detail. Adds a little bit of color. Not bad. I don't think wheat would go good with this. Uh, it just stands out too much. Uh, but the green stems with the carrots and the potatoes, not bad. If you guys have any more thoughts of things, ways I could add interest to this pathway, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm always happy to hear your guys' feedback. Uh, things have, things are, things are looking good here. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get any more progress done today, but I'm liking it. I'm, I'm liking how this place is going. Uh, so, I think, guys, I think that it's actually going to do it for today's episode. I know this one's a tiny bit shorter than I wanted it to be, but... Uh, I did, like I said, kind of run out of time for this week. Uh, so, thank you all so much for watching this episode on the Afterlife SMP server season two. If you did, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead, smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new and or not already subscribed. Also, don't forget to check out all the other Afterlife members down in the description down below. They all produce some pretty fantastic content. I do recommend every single one of them. Um, and I, I'm not saying that because I'm just an Afterlife, afterlife member. I do watch every single one of them. Uh, so definitely, definitely check them out uh, if, if you're interested in other Afterlife content or other just content in general. Anyways, guys, take care, and I'll see you later.